Hello all, my name is Prashnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, today in this particular video, I'm just going to ask you some amazing use cases and these use cases are related to my career because I have done this kind of projects. Uh, let's see how many of you will be able to solve because one important thing that I've always discussed that in interviews, you know, they'll, they'll just ask you different kind of use cases and they may say you that how you're going to solve that particular problem. Now, one thing I'm going to make sure that whatever comments you basically write with respect to any use case, like I'm going to give you four different use cases and you really need to select uh, anyone and probably write your answers and let's see how many of you will be able to answer and if probably I'm not able to reply everyone, guys, you all are there, please definitely check out the answers in the comment sections, okay? So to f begin with, obviously, this was my first project when I became a machine learning engineer. Obviously, I was working as a data scientist. But uh, this, this use case was something related to recommendation system. So in a company, the previous system was that when the person used to log in into and um, that website was an insurance website itself. Uh, based on some rule based system, they used to get recommended some products, you know. So let's say if I put a condition, if the person age is between 21 to 35, and probably if he's uh, based on some gender like male or female and based on salaries, you know, they had created a lot of rules based system, you know, and based on that rule based system, they used to recommend those products. And the same product, uh, I tried, I converted this into a recommendation system. So yes, uh, let me know in the comment section, how do you solve the specific use cases? Uh, irrespective to data, you can consider any data, any parameters, any attributes that you basically want. And uh, just write down, let's see what kind of answers I'll be able to see it. And definitely, if I love that answer, I'll give you a heart symbol from my side, uh, not just in terms of knowledge, okay? So definitely make sure that you write down the comments. So this was my first project. That is the reason why I'm so excited and I definitely want to see that how you will be able to answer. Now coming to the second project, okay, this second project uh, was also an amazing project because I had to do a lot of thinking into this uh, and the project was very simple, you know, let's say that there is a product, uh, uh, pre-processed product, uh, food product, let's say, and for that particular food product, you know, you require some raw materials. Now, let's say some raw materials and all the companies need to make sure that by the logistic team, they need to procure that raw material in advance, okay. And uh, as you know, that raw materials is completely dependent on agriculture, rainfall, outside temperature and all right. And seasons to season. And uh, there should always be a scenario that the logistic team should have sufficient amount of raw material so that the inventory keep on producing all those items that is required. Right. Now here you really need to solve this particular use case that how you can make sure that you have to provide that information to the logistic team to make sure that that raw materials like for the upcoming six months, your model should be able to predict that how much raw materials will be required, you know. So just let me know that how you are going to solve this particular problem statement, what all features you may be requiring. Let's consider any simple product, okay, fruity, okay, mango fruity, or let's let's consider any, any juice, right, for that. How you're going to basically make sure that your logistic team, how you're going to tell your logistic team that, okay, this much product is basically required. Talk about the features, attributes, challenges. This is super important because see, if you say more amount of raw materials and probably you don't produce that much, all the raw materials will be wasted. If you, if your model says less raw materials, less, less amount of raw materials for the upcoming six months, then obviously what will happen based on the demand that items that you have produced will become less, right? So there will be a lot of challenges. Tell me what is false positive over here? What is false negative over here? Model should try to reduce, you know, uh, let's, let's, uh, whatever things you have in your mind, please make sure that you write it down in the comment section. This, this is the reason why I'm talking about guys here. You will be getting an exceptional idea how to solve a specific use case. Now coming to the next use case, this is also super interesting. Uh, this use case, just imagine that, okay, you are a company who are giving some amazing cosmetic products, you know, some products you're giving, right? Uh, you want to recommend that thing to a person, right? And this recommendation sh should be based on your facial features or on your entire facial body features itself. Let's say right now we'll just consider facial features, right? The camera, it should be able to recommend me different, different products, you know? 
and probably we need to make sure that that products that we are recommending right our main target is that that person should be able to buy that you know so suppose if i'm seeing it you know and uh, you know i have a beard let's say i have a mustache right it can recommend me one um, beard oil you know something like that right so what is this in this specific use case how you're going to consider and solve this you know just let me know again what is the false positive false negative over here you know what what your model will focus on uh, what they really need to improve whether they need to focus only on accuracy and what should be the main aim of the model right just try to answer this and if i talk about facial features there are a lot of facial points guys how you're going to utilize that you know right now you have a lot of state of art models uh, which will be able to give you different different facial features itself uh, so let me know how you're going to solve this particular problem this problem this project i also got it but uh, i just developed a poc uh, i could not continue the project i don't know whether that project went to the end stage or not i'm not sure about it but definitely i created a poc about that yeah some amount of good accuracy also i got uh, based on the algorithms that i specifically applied okay now <clears throat> coming to the last project which is an amazing project again and in this project you really need to have a lot of domain knowledge also now let's say there is a smart product okay and uh, let's say there is a car okay now you have to create a model with respect to that specific car uh, let's say you are creating a machine learning algorithm or model and it needs to say you that beforehand when the car is going to get serviced not based on number of kilometers or something like that you can take up any feature but before the car is about to get damaged or it needs to be getting serviced before 5000 kilometers or 2000 kilometers only should be able to give you all those indication right and in that car i really want a feature you know of a ac of a smart ac based on the outside temperature it should be able to adjust its temperature automatically right so think over this try to see how you're going to solve this use cases two things guys one i obviously told that i i need to get a notification from the car itself uh, which is a smart thing right that my car needs service at this point of time because I am driving rashly or I did something, you know, that all kind of information should come. The second thing, the most important thing is that based on the outside temperature, my car should be automatically be able to adjust the temperature. So here, if you're creating a model, how you're going to create it, uh, what all things uh, you're going to do, what are the challenges that you're going to face in this, you know, just let me know, okay, because this kind of use cases may be the next interview question that may be given to you. Always focus on false positive, false negative. Always think that whether you have to focus on decreasing false positive or false negative, what happens if false positive is more, you know, all these kind of things. Uh, let me know your answers in the comment section of this particular video. Uh, these are some of the projects that I have personally done, you know, um, and uh, definitely it was an amazing thing to do it. Uh, only one project uh, over here, uh, that was a use case where I specifically did the POC, but from other use cases, I started a good amount of work and right now they are in production somewhere, right? So this uh, AC temperature outside environment based on outside temperature controlling the AC is a new use cases that I've added, but yes, uh, servicing part and all that uh, I've given some example based on different context, okay? So yes, uh, try to answer this. Let's see how many of you will be able to answer and yeah, people will also be able to get a huge amount of knowledge from this so please everybody participate i will see you all in the next video have a great day thank you wonder bye